Oh, hey guys, just packing up the truck. Got some sleeping gear in here. Some fishing gear in here. Oh, what does Gary take for an overnighter at Tom's? One package of deer sausage and some mustard. We'll pick up 12 beer on the way and we'll be good to go. In the back, I've actually, I'm gonna bring the kayak because I'd love to go for a kayak up there on the lake. I gotta get Mr. Gage put up in here. And I, because with the kayak in here, I can't close the top part of the cap. I'm actually gonna put his leash on him and tie him down. I don't think he'd ever jump out of there, but you never know. He's just too gung-ho to go, this guy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just do an impromptu trip up to Tom's camp. I don't know, maybe do some squatching tonight. Definitely do some fishing. Sit around a fire, get his docks in, get his boat in. Yeah, let's do this. Don't look at me like that, it's for your own safety. Gage likes having the tailgate open. Well, I picked up 12 beer at the gas station and I'm pretty sure Gage has drank three of them already. It's pretty hot out there, thirsty. No, I came to have beer and watch you work. <laughs> yeah. So Tom says, grab the whipper snipper. So I did. I whipper snipped all of this. There's the proof. He says, I'm going to take the lawnmower. Yeah, now I know why. That whippersnipper he's got, man, that thing throws more crap. Woo! Phew. Just got to check something here. I see hmm. cracks. I'm not, I'm not seeing what, uh, what I'm seeing on my leg, Tom. <laughs> you come down, you didn't bring a beer with you. <sighs> Dude, what's going on? You guys thought I was joking when I showed you my meager supply of groceries, but I will show you what Tom brought to camp, and you'll see, great minds think alike. So my deer sausage are cooking right now in the barbecue. I brought buns, a bag of chips, and mustard. Tom brought buns, lunch meat, cheese, and mustard. No wives means we don't have to have salad, vegetables, fruit, any of that nonsense. Pfft. Beer and meat. That's it. Tom's been cutting grass over there for nine hours. That's how dedicated he is. So I'm working on the sausage, they're coming along. We may or may not have gotten the docks in as we went across the lake and had a couple beers with some guys that Tom knows that he grew up with. So they're on the other side of the lake. So we, uh, we may not have gotten all the work done that we were supposed to, but that's okay. Tomorrow's another day.
are you growling at? It's one in the morning and he's growling. Come here. Lay down. I don't know what you're barking at. Uh, up bright and early, guys. Beautiful sunny morning. I've got the kayak uh, all set up behind me here. Gonna go for a little paddle, see if we can find a moose or some wildlife, maybe catch a fish. Wow guys, it is so peaceful out here. Just tranquil. Birds all around me, just paddling along the shore quietly. I had almost given up on fish when I came around the point just behind us here and uh, there was a nice sized swirl right beside the boat. So I think there's a pike right here behind me. I'm gonna get the rod going here and see if I can land him. We'll let him go. I have no intentions of keeping or eating anything. So uh, but let's just see if we can catch one. Wow guys, I haven't felt this much peace in quite a while and I think I've taken the purchase of the kayak lightly. <laughs> when I'm out here on the water I realize this is where I want to be. Sneaking down the shoreline of the river or the lake, doing a bit of fishing but also doing our wildlife and photography hunts that we do. The kayak is an excellent way to do that. I'm a little bit worried about expensive gear in the kayak. I'm looking at ways to get the spotting scope in here. I'm like, man, the things we could do. And the spotting scope is 100% waterproof. So even if the you know, boat tipped over, as long as we have it tethered in there and I got it out quick in a minute or two, I think we'd be okay. But that's a very expensive piece of gear and I do worry about it. But guys, I'm, I can't understate here I don't want to understate the feeling of tranquility that I have this morning up here in northern Quebec. And it's got me thinking, I know dozens of places, guys, that are excellent for fishing. The kayak is opening up a whole new way to get into lots of little places that I used to hike into but couldn't get out. Just tiny little lakes, couldn't get out into the middle of for trout and things. And we're going to start doing that. And I'm going to start a new series on the channel called... Kayak a lacking. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. We're just gonna kayak a lack along. <laughs> and Gary's gonna get out and just enjoy, you know, as much water as I can up here in the north. It's there's so much water here. Hundreds and hundreds of lakes within 15 minutes of my house. And guys, I gotta say, if I do toot my own horn, this guy may have spent more hours fishing as a kid up until I was 20 than anybody I know other than my twin brother. That was our entire life. 
And, you know, in the last five, six years, and of course, when you're working jobs and things, you get out of it. But um, the basic skills are still there. If the fish are there, we can get them. Oh, we got a monster hooked here, guys, right in front of that little waterfall, just like I said. What do we got? <laughs> I think it's a little bass. Surprise me, there's only eight inches of water here. It's actually a nice smallmouth, and there's another one right beside it. You guys see the other one right there? Okay, let's land this one. Look at that, guys. That's my first fish in the kayak. Nice smallmouth. So they're probably nesting back here in this shallow water, right where the little waterfall comes in. And they're very aggressive, protecting their nest probably. That's what that was, so. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, we got the second one hooked. <laughs> About the same size as the first one. Hey, there it is. We got them both. I just did the perfect release. I filmed it, except I didn't push record. <laughs> so anyway, they're both back in here. Right there beside those two turtles, guys, I just had another hit. So there's another bass in there. All right, third try, we got them. Oh, we got this one and I just saw a monster swim by right there. Hey, there it is, another one. And I seen one probably twice as big down there. Oh, uh-oh. That's always a problem, especially in the kayak. Tom, do you want a cold sausage and a warm beer? Uh, yeah, I'll have one, sir. So today is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. My kids got me the perfect card. I'll take a picture and show you guys. I laughed. <laughs> 